Hey friends, before we start with this session, let's take a close look at this image. What's your opinion about it? Is it real or is it fake? If you think that this looks like something that's made on Photoshop, well then you're wrong. This magnificent spectacle is because of a phenomenon called bioluminescence. There exists organisms called dinoflagellates. Most of these organisms are marine plankton. These organisms produce light as a defense mechanism against any sort of disturbance or mechanical stress, like waves that they encounter in the water. The stronger the waves, the brighter the glow. So this image is very much real, and these sort of organisms are examples of natural sources of light, which we spoke of in our session on Introduction to Light. So now that we know how interesting light is, why not try a few light exercises? No, don't get up. Stay seated. All we have to do is take this test on light to see how much we know. Only a few seconds will be given to answer each question. So think fast and rack your brains. Let's begin. Segregate the following into its respective baskets of natural and artificial sources of light. Candle, torch, moonlight, glowing worm, forest fire caused by lightning, a TV monitor, an erupting volcano. This is what each basket contains. Mr. Vijay has a few doubts regarding the topic. Help him out by selecting the correct option. What happens to energy as the frequency decreases? As the frequency decreases, the wavelength increases. And as the wavelength increases, the energy decreases too. So, as the frequency decreases, the energy decreases. In the given spectrum, which of these has the highest energy? The spectrum given here is the visible spectrum. So, in the increasing order of wavelength from gamma waves to radio waves, violet has the lowest wavelength and for that reason the highest energy. This region of the spectrum has a balance between wavelength and energy. The answer is the visible region. As mentioned before, the visible region lies exactly in the middle of the spectrum between gamma waves of the highest energy and radio waves of the lowest energy. Thus, the visible region has a balance between wavelength and energy. The speed of light is Three hundred million meters per second, or three hundred thousand kilometers per second. A question is posed to Mr. Vijay and Mr. Khanna. That question is, which wavelength of light is emitted by the sun? Mr. Khanna says, as the sun is hot, it emits light only in the IR region, and Mr. Vijay says, as the sun appears yellowish, it emits light of the yellow wavelength. What's your verdict on both these theories? For the right answer, your verdict should be that both these theories are wrong. The sun is hot because of the various constitutional reactions taking place inside it. And as we've seen in the first session, the sun is a polychromatic source of light. Poly means many. So, the sun emits more than one wavelength. As a matter of fact, it emits all seven wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum. Choose the light to use. Mr. Khanna has a backache. Which wavelength of light can be used to investigate his condition? The correct answer is X-rays. Mr. Vijay developed a sprained ankle while falling off the bus. Which part of the spectrum can be used to help in providing him relief? The correct answer is the IR region. Because as we've seen earlier, IR is used in heat therapy, which is used to relieve aches and pains. If there's a wavelength of light that's the size of two football fields, you can bet it belongs to... The answer is radio waves. These waves have the highest wavelength and these wavelengths 
can range from a few meters to many kilometers. There's a suspected case of counterfeit currency. Pick the part of the spectrum that will give the investigators the lead. The correct answer is the UV part of the spectrum. As we've seen earlier or as we've known earlier, currency notes have something that's called as the UV mark, which is evident only under the UV light. That's it for now. Stay tuned for more such exercises. Until next time, keep watching, keep learning and follow your curiosity.